on question number two of your 2-4 assignment. Don't forget your name and number one. Almost forgot that myself. Can't give you credit if you don't put your name on it. On number two, let's move all our variables to one side first because you can't simplify it. And I'm going to move my smaller variable because I don't want to work with the negative numbers. So I'm going to subtract 3t from both sides. Notice how are they in, I keep my t's in columns. My 3t minus 3t, that makes me 0. So I bring down my 6. 8t minus 3t is 5t. Bring down the minus 14. Now it's a two-step equation like we did from the previous lesson. So we're just going to add 14 to both sides. And 20 equals 5t. And once again, because the 14s cancel. Finally, divide both sides by 5. 4 equals t. And there's your answer. I don't care if you write it as 4 equals t, or if you want to flip it around and write t equals 4, like I have in the answer there. Okay, let's take a look at number 3. Now, unlike the last one, I want to simplify this first, because we got some fractions, and then this makes it really ugly. So I look at my denominators. My denominators are 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by 5. I'm not going to put the parentheses. I'm going to show everything multiplied by 5. Everything separated by a plus sign, a minus sign, or an equal sign. So on the first one, the 5 is reduced, and we get 2h. Minus 7 times 5 is 35. Equals my 5 is reduced here, so I get 12h. 2 times 5 is 10, so minus 10h, plus 5 times 3 is 15. Now, I can combine my like terms on my right side, so I'll do that first. So then I get 2h plus 15 on the right side. I got 2h minus 35 on the left side. Well, let's move all my H's to one side, and notice when I do that, on both sides, the H's cancel out. I'm left with negative 35 equals 15. That is not true, is it? So if it's, if it's not true, we're going to say no solution. And there's your answer. Okay, let's take a look at number four. And once again, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this left side. I'm not even going to look at the right side yet. Distribute the two inside, we get 8r plus 12. On the right side, I'm going to distribute my two-thirds inside because it's easy to multiply by fractions. I won't suggest you get rid of the fractions yet because notice they kind of get rid of themselves. 3 goes into 12 four times, so 4 times 2 is 8r. 3 goes into 18, 6 times 6 times 2 is 12. Now I'm going to minus my 8r from both sides. And just like number 3, they cancel, don't they? So I bring down... 12 equals 12. Unlike the last problem, 12 does equal 12. So if that's true, we have an identity or infinite solutions. I think I wrote identity or infinite solutions for your answer, so I'll write identity here. Identity means it's exactly the same. There's infinite solutions. Notice, you might have noticed way back in step two, they were the same. You could have said, hey, there's infinite solutions as an identity right there because they're, the, they're the same on both sides. So you didn't actually have to do too much on that one. 